welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Titty Chichu and I don't know what I'm doing I will never know what I'm doing and that's what I'm using as an intro don't mind my hair I'm already, I've already filmed two videos and uh something tells me we're not thriving anyway besides the point we're back at it with another build a bear plus review um like I said before when I got my big Charizard boom boom clap uh <laughs> I saw some bundles that were half off and I said you know what Let's do it. I don't go to Build-A-Bear very often because it is like 40 minutes out of the way. So typically I do get the online bundles. And therefore, when I saw these, I was like, I need to get them immediately. So today's video is about Teddy Ursa. I have been looking at this Teddy Ursa Build-A-Bear for a very long time and I have just been like, oh my god, he's so freaking cute. I want him so bad. And I finally was like, you know what? If I'm getting Score Bunny and Charizard, I'm getting my dang Teddy Ursa. So here he is. We're gonna go through all the details and we'll go through the fits. So here he is. As you can see, a little blend mesh right there, but that's okay. He, look at his expression. The, like, this expression is what I wanted from Score Bunny. You know what I mean? So there's his... He's got his cute little feetsies. He's got his big tail. Here's the back of him. Very soft. Nothing is weighted. But very, very simple, lovely. I have been falling in love with Teddy Ursa again. Especially with everything with Ursa Ring and um, Blood Moon Ursa Ring. Sure, yeah, that's it. But I've been kind of snuggling with this guy every night because I think he's so, 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 so cute. And he's like a little moon bear and who doesn't love a good moon bear? And yeah, and he also does come with sounds as well. All of the build -a bear reviews that I've done uh, with Charizard and Score Bunny and uh, Teddy Ursa, these are all the online bundles. If you look up there and you see... I have uh, Psyduck. Psyduck I got from the Build-A-Bear store, so he doesn't have sounds in him. So, this, like I said, Build-A-Bear uh, can sometimes be like 40 minutes away. So I was like, no. All right, so let's listen to the sounds. Every time they make a sound, Tiki like freaks out. See? Her. She's a savage. Ow, ow, why? She just scratched me. You guys saw that. That was caught on film. Do you not like the sounds that much, Queen? I don't understand the problem. Anyway, I don't want my head to get ripped off, so that's enough of that. Thanks, Tiki. You can't see it. I'm not going to try and because it's already getting red. But um, the sounds I do like more than Square Bunnies. I don't know why, but I do. So I do, I'm, I'm a fan. Also, this was also half off, which is very worth it to me. I'm pretty sure it was like $32 and Square Bunny was 38. I could be wrong, but he also comes with two outfits. This is outfit number one. It is a hoodie of a certain Pokeball that I don't remember the name of because I'm a fake Pokemon fan, clearly. But we're gonna put that on first. I haven't put this one on him yet. I've just kind of had him in the second outfit. And I, all my Build-A-Bears did not come, like they just came with their clothes and not uh, dressed because I like to dress them myself. <laughs> oh my God, this is so cute with the little ear holes. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, he looks so freaking cute. Look at him in all of his glory. He's like, yeah, it's cold and I'm happy about it. <laughs> He's so cute. I love it. This is such a good, such a good solid uh, outfit idea. Oh, so good. Because they do also have, I believe, the Great Ball hoodie and the Pokeball hoodie. But they don't have like the great big ear things like like this one does that can go around 
uh, Teddy Ursus giant head. Here's the second fit. It's the sleepy fit. You can see the design in it. Very cute. And this, these ones I believe are specifically designed for Teddy Ursa, but you technically can put them on other Pokemon if they can fit them, but I think it's kind of like a trial and error process. But, uh, yeah. I've basically had my Score Bunny and Teddy Ursa in their sleep outfits because they've been sleeping in bed. But here is my sleepy little Teddy Ursa. As you can see, there's like an elastic here, so where it's not like actual pants. He just looks like such a baby. He looks like a little toddler. I love it. Okay, so here's the back of him. Front, back, slow turn, back, slow turn. So yeah, and also I do want to say that the claws, I forgot to mention this before, they are made out of the cheaper fabric that we've seen before. These, I if you've already watched my Charizard review, these are thinner than the Charizard ones. I would say the Charizard ones are thicker. I don't know if it's because the plush is bigger or what exactly it is, but that's that's that. I also would just like to say that the build bears that are Pokemon, I'm bringing in Score Bunny for this. I think they're great because they're trainer sized, and that's why I'm such a big fan of them. I think because like you could take like great pictures with these as like a Pokemon trainer if you're cosplaying one or if you're just doing it for fun like me like it's like, like, I'm so happy I'm so so happy it's just it's such a good feeling and I'm so happy that I got all these off besides Charizard <laughs> but I didn't know if he was gonna sell out so I got him right away another key detail his nose is uh flocked which means it's kind of like a very soft it's a hard button nose, if you can hear that, I don't know if you can, but it's flocked, so it's fuzzy and hard, which I think is perfect for this, instead of being embroidered. I think that that's, that was a really good design choice on Pokemon's part, or Build-A-Bear's part, whichever, but yeah, and I, oop, I love Pokemon Build-A-Bear's so much. I can't wait to see what they come out with next. I'm going to try and do some sleuthing and see if I can find out beforehand. Because um, sometimes they just kind of drop Pokemon and they don't let anyone know. Which, I mean, that's not really shocking, I guess. That's kind of how they always done it. <laughs> I've always done it. But um, yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thanks for keeping up with this lovely Build-A-Bear saga series because God for freaking bid. Um, I've been waiting to do these and get off my butt and do them, but sometimes it's hard, but besides the point. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, out of the three, Score Bunny, Teddy Ursa, and Charizard, what do you think were the best? And also, let me know what else you guys would like to see me do down in the comments below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye!